Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for part three of my Valentine's Day Decorate With Me. If you guys watched part one and part two, you guys would already know that I am taking a different approach to Valentine's Day decor and I really went for more of a spring cottage core aesthetic with just the occasional Valentine's Day detail here and there and I truly love how everything has come out so far. If you guys missed part one and two like I said I will go ahead and link them up in the corner and down below in the description box for you guys but part one was decorating my living room and part two was decorating my coffee bar slash dining room I have made a few minor changes so I think I will have a like home tour coming up probably after this video if not a couple videos after this video but yes I have a few more Valentine's Day videos coming up I hope you guys don't miss out on them if you guys enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell and real quick before we get into the video I just wanted to address the questions on my sweater I got a lot of questions when I wore this sweater in a few videos ago it is from Aerie I will link it down below in the description box for you guys and I love it it's super comfortable definitely recommend it so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video don't forget to stick around till the end because besides decorating I am gonna try to make some creme brulee so I don't promise that it'll come out good but I'm gonna try it out so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get into it Okay friends, for this corner of my kitchen, I've already told you guys this before, but I don't really use it to prep or cook anything, so this is where I add a little bit more decor. I added this wooden stand from Target from the Hearth and Hand line, as well as one of the Magnolia Table Cookbooks. I just opened it to one of the first pages because it had a really pretty picture of some roses so I thought that was fitting for Valentine's Day and then inside this cute little planter this is from the Studio McGee line a few seasons ago I went ahead and added these baby breaths from Hobby Lobby and I thought that it needed just a pop of pink but I no longer had any cosmos I had just these few lying around just three and I made it work I added it to all the baby's breath and added a few of the greenery pieces and that was it it was the perfect amount of pink for this corner so once this was done I added it to the top of the open cookbook and then I also added the candle I got from Target for that pop of blue and then that is it for this corner and I know that we've been a Okay friends, a quick tip I have is to just mess around with your florals or your greenery. Sometimes I put something together and I don't like how it looks, so I just have to do a quick messing around until everything is how I want it to be. And also real quick, when it comes to candles, please make sure you don't light them close to your fake or your faux greenery or florals. For the purpose of this video, you guys will see that I lit this candle, but for every day, I just take the candle, I put it on the counter, and I light it up. So just be careful, keep an eye on it. That was just my quick little tip. Now moving on to my kitchen rods, so the idea I had for these is just a simple, I just tried to imagine a little cottage and 
that is why at the bottom one or with the bottom rod I'm just leaving it super simple I'm using a, some like kitchen utensils I added a kitchen towel from the hearth and hand line that I got a couple weeks ago I added a cutting board and then these pot holders are from the hearth and hand line as well so super simple I love how clean this looks and where I'll be adding some florals is at the top but overall I just kept this very simple and I do like how it came out does she notice the things I notice Okay friends, for the top rod, this is where I added all my wooden cutting boards with the exception of the one I added on the bottom one. And this is kind of how I left it when I removed all of my Christmas decor and I ended up just really liking the look of all the wooden cutting boards stacked together on top. But I figured this still needed a little bit of something. So again, just keeping it very simple, you guys will see that I added a kitchen towel again from the hearth and hand line it came in a pack of two with the one on the bottom rod and then when that was done I still felt like I needed something I needed a greenery a pop of floral but I really wanted to keep it cottage core or within that aesthetic so I thought it'd be really cool to just kind of hang some florals kind of like if I was drying them for some tea or something like that I'm not sure but that was the idea that I had so I just went ahead and I got my cosmos I cut the stem off and then just kind of made a little hook at the bottom of it and then I hung them upside down and I really love how they look and how that came out again it just adds a tiny bit of cottage core and i just think it's so whimsical so a quick tip if you guys only find the white cosmos at your hobby lobby you can actually soak them in a cup of coffee and it'll actually tint it a very beautiful like beigey color these ones that i'm about to put up right now are the ones i stained with coffee and i just think they look perfect so just a quick tip in case you guys only found the white ones and no longer found like the beige or the mauve ones. And lastly, to finish off this side of my kitchen, I just added this apron I got from Hobby Lobby. I love the color of green it is. And then I am moving on to the top of my fridge. I finally went ahead and cleaned it and added all the like stuff that we had up here inside of this beautiful wicker basket from Target. And then I decided to move my sugar, flour, and baking soda up here. They're still at my arm's reach so I could still grab them when I need them but I just wanted them off the counter since I've had them on my counters for so long just something different and I think they look cute up here they just kind of add again that little cottage feeling next to them I added this clock from Liz Marie Galvan's QVC line and again just super simple but I do like how this looks on top of my fridge way better than all the clutter and junk that I had up there now for my kitchen counter this toaster i usually just put inside of our cupboards but i pulled it out because again that green color is perfect for what i'm going for this season and then inside this wickered little container i don't know basket whatever you want to call it of course i have some kitchen utensils and then i just added this wooden spoon with a heart cut out at the top for that little bit of valentine's day touch and that is mainly it for this countertop.
And lastly, I'm just adding some kitchen towels to the front of my stove as well as an oven mitt. And over the top, I added a cute little heart bowl just to put my spoons when I'm cooking and so on. And for that added touch of Valentine's and that is it for the countertop now before we move on to the overview we are gonna get started with the super yummy recipe Okay friends, now starting with that crème brûlée, I will go ahead and leave measurements down below in the description box for you guys, but I am starting off by adding my egg yolks and my sugar to my bowl and then just mixing this up real good before moving on to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to work on warming up our cream all this is is a pot over the stove i added my heavy whipping cream and my vanilla and then you just want to heat this up to a point where it's warm so you'll kind of start seeing some steam coming out from the sides as you guys will see in just a bit and that is all you don't want this to boil you don't want it to be overly hot because as you pour it into your egg mixture you actually want to temper the eggs first so just pour it in a little bit at a time and make sure you whisk it really good this is so you don't scramble your eggs basically so again just a little bit at a time um, until eventually you have all of your cream in there and that is what I'm doing right now Okay friends, once this is mixed up, you can definitely go ahead and strain this, but I didn't find that necessary. Thankfully, I didn't find any like scrambled bits of egg, so I just went ahead and poured this directly into my ramekins. But again, if you kind of start seeing some clumps, you can definitely go ahead and just strain them. And now I'm just adding them to my ramekins before I put these in a water bath. So once I fill them up, I'm just going to put them in another container and I'm going to fill it up with water about a third of the way up of the ramekin and put this in the oven at 325 degrees for about 30 minutes or until you start seeing the sides of the I don't know the cream kind of lift up a little kind of brown just a bit you guys will see in just a bit how they come out but yes that is the next step Once they're ready, you're going to pull them out and just let them cool down completely before putting them in your fridge to chill for a minimum four hours. It's better if it's overnight, but real quick, I just added this cute little floral frame to the side of my fridge i just felt that it needed something here and i thought this was the perfect little touch but yes this is an overview of what my decor looks like and then of course we will finish that crown brulee yesterday i lost the battle trying that i so to keep you baby
Okay friends, so it has been a few hours and these have been chilling in the fridge. We already had dinner and Jonathan is actually here. Besides doing the taste test, he's gonna help me complete the last two steps of this crème brûlée making process. Has a blowtorch, because I cannot be trusted with fire. So, <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and finish these up so we can try them out. Without you, baby. Oh, without you, baby. Okay friends, so you are going to add about a teaspoon of sugar to the top of your creme brulee and then you're going to go in with a kitchen torch or a blow torch if you have someone who knows how to use them safely and then you're just going to lightly just go over each one of them until the sugar kind of caramelizes and forms that hard top on your creme brulee. Again, this is the first time we're doing this, so quick tips. Don't put a towel underneath them. Don't put a book next to them. Just be careful. Be mindful that this is fire. So again, just a quick tip. <laughs> okay, sit so I can get the perfect angle. Good them. boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. So let's see how these came out. Oh, the ramekin is hot at the top. No, it's a ramekin. It's a like, little container it's in. Ready? There you go. <laughs> oh, you should zoom into the. Uh, we'll do a second one and I'll zoom into it. Oh, wow. All right, moment of truth. I'm nervous. Go. This could, this could either be the, the, the elusive 12 out of 10, this could be the 2 out of 10. Oh, my God. Done. Oh my god. How come I always gotta be the guinea pig? <laughs> <laughs> it's usually something I'm confident about. Hmm. It's good. It's good? <laughs> that doesn't seem too convinced. No, it's good. Really? Like what is it, honestly? Because it's shaped like a heart. Go ahead and give it the the 12 out of 10. Oh. <laughs> and if it wasn't shaped as a heart? If it wasn't shaped like a heart, it'd be a 15 out of 10. Oh nah, my I'm god. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. That's good. That's good, man. And isn't it supposed to be yellow, though? Or is, is that the... I don't know. I've never made it. Is it good, though? Mm-hmm. I dig it. Does it satisfy your craving? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even my beard hurt stood up. I'll twist the flame. Is that is that I pointed the torch at myself accidentally? <laughs> of the little crunch yeah the crunch part is good the brew it's called brulee <laughs> <laughs> Br brulee means burnt oh yeah it does <laughs> per um what's his name gordon ramsay where's the brulee damn that's pretty good yeah all right let's show them the little crunch You win the ASMR. <laughs> fail. <laughs> what a fail. <laughs> I was making the rice crispy one. You want to do it again? Ah, oh, it's All quiet right. though. Shh. <laughs> I 
Okay, I don't think my last. Baby, that's, you're gonna have to. Oh, that one's yours. Okay, so wait. What level of burnt is better? Or brulee? This one. The, the like, the, the like, uh, more burnt one. So, like the middle one? Yeah, the more burnt one is better. Because it crunches a little bit more. So, we know for next time. Let me see. I'm gonna try it, you guys. I don't like crème brûlée though. No? I like my crème brûlée though. It's, <laughs> it's good, good huh? yeah. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Damn, imagine if this was like an ice cream flavor. I bet there is. Well, you guys, this was not a fail. I'll leave the recipe down below in the description box. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. I do have a special little Valentine's Day video coming up. And yeah, hope to see you guys Is then. Is that going to be the funny one or no? No. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye.